Hi friends, it's Amanda. Welcome back from my Shimmers Paints Inspiration. Joining you today for my take with the January Collection Colour Kits. And oh, wow, who thought 2020 could get any better? But it's starting off big because the Shimmers Colour Kits just got bigger and better. And we've got three brand new exclusive colours included in this kit for this month. This first one is Vibes Into The Woods. The one I'm showing you on the left is with one spray and this one here on the right, the dark one, that's three coats. So you can see the difference. A little bit more depth of colour um, the more you add it as well. So really good to always test your paints with one or two or three coats so you can see the difference. And then an old favourite, Vibes Before Dawn. And this is a fabulous black. It's just really, it has such a high sheen in it and it's got that gorgeous shimmer that we all know and love. Look at that. Look at the sheen. Fabulous. So an oldie but a goodie. And then we have two more new products and this is the Shimmers Sage Advice. Now I'm showing you this one because you can see the water at the top and this shimmery sediment has actually settled at the bottom. So it's always really important with your Shimmers pots to give them a super good stir so that you get a good, um, yeah, a good mix of both shimmer and colour pigment. You don't want to be missing out on all the good stuff. So giving that a good paint there and look at that color isn't that divine sage advice indeed and shimmers brand new silver fox same scenario you can see the water sitting at the top and all my gorgeous shimmery sediment yeah look at that it's all on the bottom so you've got to give it a really good stir really really important doesn't matter how you store them you must always give them a really good stir before you use them and oh look at that gorgeous so shimmery so shiny oh Oh la la. Now that's a silver, isn't it? Silver Fox. Loving these two new colours. So we've got three brand new colours and then a couple more old favourites as well. So Sheer Bliss in the Inklings and Creamies for sure. And both these colours, uh, both Inklings and Creamies need to be activated with water. So I have a little spritzer here that I will just spritz them with. And off camera, I leave them for about two, three minutes and then they're ready to use. So you can see I'm coming in with the um, inklings first and this color is really really soft and subtle I can't begin to tell you how delicate this golden hue is it's super pretty but it's very very delicate and I because of the fantastic cut file that we have included in the January kit as well I just wanted a bit more depth of color so I end up painting this piece of paper three times because I really wanted that more intense gold so it's still subtle and soft, but it's you'll see the difference in when you see this finish. So very subtle, beautiful colour, sheer bliss. And then I'll leave that to dry and start painting with our gorgeous Creamies for sure. Now Creamies for sure is a really neutral colour. It's it's really subtle again. It, it looks like Silver Fox at first, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at that and watch it disappear. It's really subtle. This is the most fantastic neutral um, I can't rave about this one enough and it's hard to see on camera but in a moment when it's dry you'll see what I'm talking about really creamy indeed like it the smoothness that it dries with is just amazing and it's just a really good sort of a staple color to have in your um, kits it's just yeah it's fantastic so I am putting a second coat on with that one as well though so you get two coats on this one as well and with the magic of video here we go oh look at that inklings always have a lot of sheen they're stunning and then that's that gorgeous creamies and you can see really subtle color so gorgeous absolutely beautiful colors in our kit so that's all the colors and then of course we have that fantastic cup file and then we have some other embellishments as well so here's all our gorgeous colors and this cut file, the forest cut file, is designed exclusively by Paige Evans for the Shimmers January kit. So you won't be able to get this one anywhere else. And you'll notice that I've left some pieces intact or inset. And some I'm going to back with our fabulous um, pre-painted Shimmers papers. And you can see why now. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I wanted to keep some features inside and um, natural. And then, of course, the clouds and the mountain peaks I've painted in the for sure. But you can't see them very well. <laughs> it depends when I hold it up in the different light. You probably will. Now, in the kit, I realized as I was back in that cut file, though, I didn't have a blue. So I've dived into my stash, gone and grabbed out an oldie but a goodie, the fabulous Shimmers Ultramarine color. This color is always available in the shop. Have a look at this. Ah, oh, it's 
stunning. And look, there's the shimmer. Look at that when the sun hits it. Absolutely amazing. What a gorgeous, gorgeous cut file piece. And I'm going to use the Coco Vanilla Boys Rule collection today. This paper's called Messed Up, and you can see it's got a bit of a mixed media sort of edge and trim to it. And I thought it would work well because, it was, you know, I'm going to do a boy page. And and then I thought, you know what, now that I've put my cut file over that, the greens and blues in the paper are a little more bright and they just need to be brought back a bit. And I've also realised that even though I said I was going to use all the colours, I hadn't used any of the before dawn in my cut file. So I'm going to come around with the vibes before dawn now and just sort of, yeah, add lots of inky splatters and a little bit of mess just to um, tone down that paper and yeah I guess give it a little bit more edginess and yeah I, I just wanted to bring back particularly that turquoisey blue and that limey green they were just a bit too strong for me and uh, I dried it off and I went oh no it's still too much so I'm going to come in and do that again because you can always add more it's easier to add more paint it's a little bit harder to pull it away if you've gone wild at the beginning so yeah going to come in and add some more now and just trying to make sure I've got enough to really add that edgier look to it because I want the bright colour to be on the cut file and not distracting on the other paper. So, yeah, just adding a bit of depth there. And, yeah, there we go. That's better. And I've foam mounted the cut file off camera. And here's my little photo stack. As I said, all the scrapbook supplies I'm using are either from the January collection kit or are from the Coco Vanilla Boys Rule collection. Of course, you see that large journaling tag there, which is included in the January color kit. And I'm using that to mount my photo. I do love that ephemera piece, Adventure. That's fantastic and really ties in beautifully with the scene that we've created with the cut file and a few stars because, you know, that's the kind of look we're going for today. Very outdoorsy and my cool kid. He's super awesome. You'll see I've got those teeny tiny buttons on the right hand side of the screen there and to the left I've got the new happy dots, happy day dots and these are awesome. They're another exclusive just for the kit this month but if you haven't tried shimmers dots yet, oh you are going to love them. They're fantastic. They're, um, they're really like an enamel or epoxy button but without that heavy weight to them they're really light and they're I mean they have that same beautiful finish on them but I just find they're not heavy on your project so you can use all three or four or five on a page and it just doesn't weigh your pages down and it's yeah they're, they're fantastic I love them so um and I tend to not be able to help myself I'm going to use all three of them today that one says happy day this one says hello and this one says um life's perfect or a perfect life I can't see um life is perfect I'm sure it says yeah there we go tucking that in adding that little awesome sentiment and then just some black stickers and I didn't have any um alphas in the right size so I've dived into an old hip kit club stash I think this is from the October kit um it's just one of their exclusive puffy alpha stickers that they've brought out and and they're just the right size and the right colors so they work perfectly for my title explorer and then I'm going to use those teeny tiny buttons, just the black and the green today. Um, it's kind of as an alternative to an enamel dot, perhaps, so like a really tiny enamel dot or a sequin. Just adding them in because they are, they are teeny tiny. They are a little bit fiddly, but they're very cute. So you get a whole teaspoon of those included in your kit as well. So you get the dots, you get the journaling tag, you get the teeny tiny buttons, you get the cut file. Of course, you do need a cut machine to be able to cut it but you you know you can the good thing with a, a digital cut file is you can have that as, and use that one as often as you like you know they last forever and um yeah um six new colors well three new colors and three that you can add to your stash that are already existing so yeah look I can't rave enough about the January kit it's a stunner so much gorgeousness and what a fun page for my cool adventurer you know, a really fun boy page and I think it's, yeah, look, it's really coming to life now and I'm really happy with how this is turning out. So if you've got questions or comments about my layout today, though, please don't hesitate to pop them down below and I will do my best to get back to you. 
And if you are going to purchase a colour kit or any products in the Shimmers Paint Store, don't forget to pop my name, Amanda, in the comments section of your order because you'll, it will earn you a free paint. And we all love freebies. Free paint is always good. And um, yeah, look, happy crafting, friends. I hope you've had lots of fun watching and thanks so much for being here. Have a wonderful, happy, arty days. Bye.